What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So as you guys can see, we're actually riding down the street today in our Model S, and we have a little bit of a different video for you guys today, and I wanted to kind of show you guys what's to come. For those of you that follow the channel, some interesting information today dropped on Tesla's next biggest update. And again, if you follow, you know we just did our video on 2023.20.7 that we just got. Well, their next big update, 2023.26, kind of just got pushed into some production model cars. And this is that big update change that we were talking about. This is one of the more exciting ones with new features that are coming. And uh, I wanna talk to you guys about them today. We don't have it yet, obviously, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up as far as what's coming. So first things first, you're gonna have a new option to charge on solar. This is gonna allow you to charge your Tesla with solar energy if you have a power wall. You can choose how much charging comes from solar versus any other sources, so your regular electric grid and all that. And it's an easy setup. All you're gonna do is open the Tesla app uh, for your vehicle, tap charge on solar message and follow the instructions. You do need your power walls to be updated to V23.12.10 and the Tesla app does need V4.22.5. So having said all that, aside from that, we do have a new update for Spotify. Spotify refresh is what's in this build, and now you can play your Spotify music, playlists, podcasts, and audiobooks with a more familiar look and feel that you're used to. And to do this, you're gonna just use the app launcher itself and go to Spotify. Um, you do need pro premium productivity as you traditionally always would. There's a new change to automatic headlights now where your headlights now turn on automatically when windshield wipers are activated and headlights are set to auto in controls, lights, and headlights. Beyond that, now there's a new update for destinations closing soon for navigation. So when you're doing a navigation somewhere, it'll now show you if your destination is closing soon or may be closed by the time you arrive. Awesome new feature, something Google Maps has had, and it is now being baked out into Tesla's navigation. We now finally also get Bluetooth game controllers, which is one of the biggest things I know a lot of people have been wanting and asking for. You can now pair a controller to use Bluetooth. Uh, in the Bluetooth panel to play video games on. It does require, not really require, I should say, it does recommend that you use a PS5 controller for this over a Xbox controller or anything of that nature. But finally, no longer do you have to plug in the cable to utilize a game controller to play something in the Tesla Arcade. Finally, definitely something nice to have, um, and I'm definitely glad to see. So beyond that, you do have probably another exciting update for the Tesla mobile app itself. And that is now you can use a grid view for the cameras itself. Instead of only having to watch one camera view at a time, you can use a grid view and use all the angles. You can basically select multiple ones at the same time to see it and to control this and to use it, you're gonna have to go into your vehicle settings and controls, safety, live view camera via mobile app and you can find everything you need there. Again, kind of similar to the earlier conversation, you do need mobile app version 4.22.5. Um, there's a new update screen for other updates as well, or a new tagline, I should say, for this. Um, we're now recent since favorites are being separated tabs in the media player. The slider to adjust volume, temperature, and charging limits are more precise. It was very, very kind of intermediate where you scroll to try to get everything to log on. Uh, or to kind of connect exactly where you wanted it to land. Now it is much more easier in that one. And now sentry mode, which shockingly didn't have this prior, sentry mode will now record if someone tries to open the door or trunk while the vehicle is locked. Kind of surprising to see that it was not there prior, but yeah, it's not and it's finally uh, available. Navigation also shows more details about your destination now. And then the access to the owner manuals and release notes, you can actually see more quickly in the manual app. So again, one big call out for all of this is there is a new disclaimer, even on Tesla itself, that says availability varies by model and location. So just because we named all these features, if you have a Model 3, a Model S, you might not be getting the same features or you might get them at different points in time. Case in point, Model 3 heated steering wheel, we didn't get that automated um, in our Model S for a while. You could have it obviously, but you couldn't set it to automatic and uh, yeah. That is finally one example of what's the difference between models. Hopefully that'll be a little different going forward, but it'll be very interesting to see. I think this is a huge update finally. One I'm actually equally excited about is the navigation data. So we have not got a new maps update yet for 2023. If I recall right, and I could actually look in the vehicle, we are still running uh, North American maps 2022.44. 
So that's the 44 week, so nearing the end of last year. And here we are over six months into 2023 without a new map update. Traditionally, we get two updates for navigation a year. We haven't gotten a single one yet, so hopefully that'll be in this build. Usually they're separate downloads, as you're aware, if you've had Tesla for a while, but uh, we'll see. Beyond all that, again, Tesla has a big push on all of their referral programs, so we greatly appreciate it if you use our referral link to buy your Tesla. Thank you very much for those of you that have in the past. But make sure you save yourself some money if you're getting a Model S or a Model X. Um, save that $1,000 and get that three months free of full self-driving. Even if you get a Model 3 or Y, get those free supercharging credits. You can get some cool swag, get free supercharging miles, and if you guys get enough, you can even get FSD or Enhanced Autopilot for free. So can't hurt everybody wins we greatly appreciate it had to pull the same the shameless plug in there for that but yeah that's it for this one guys let me know are you excited for this next build coming as soon as it hits our vehicle like you said like you guys know we'll be doing a hands-on a deeper dive we'll be able to check those new new labels and hopefully with this one we'll see a ton more new than we've seen as far as just that single one with the search bar in the last 2023.20 build thanks for watching guys we'll catch you in the next one peace